Hey everybody, how are you? It's Peter again for MLB Trade Rumors and Discussions. It is Friday, March 13th, Friday 13th, 2020. I'm going to try to keep this going every single day like I promised you guys. So what I decided to do is talk about every single MLB team every single day in alphabetical order until baseball is either back or they get going in some sort of way. That is my goal since there's not going to be any playing or there's pretty much no rumors going on. And if there is, I'll definitely talk to you guys about it. Let's start in alphabetical order. Let's start with the Angels, okay? Did the Angels do enough to get better? Absolutely. Did the Angels do enough to make the playoffs? I don't think so. The, let's talk about their additions, right? Anytime you get a guy to the Anthony Rendon caliber, you improve. The guy is a monster at third base. Not only that, you protected Trout. Right, Pujols and Upton don't protect him anymore. Otani's a good ball player, really is, but you still need a real solid hitter in there, and Rendon is the guy. The Angels' offense looks freaking scary. Okay, Lestella can play second. Simmons is a really good player at short, so they are stacked. The team, the team is good. Now, let's talk about. Did, <laughs> let's see. Okay, they signed a couple pitchers. Did they get better? Yeah, technically they got better. Dylan Bundy is one of the guys that got better. He's a good pitcher, right? He got out of Baltimore. He has some ace stuff. Is the, he the answer? No, because he's really a number three to a number four pitcher. I don't, I can see him getting a lot of wins this year just for the fact that the Angels are going to score, and he's going to be a little bit more in the middle of the rotation, so I can see him getting the protection that he needs so it's not like Baltimore there. I can see him easily maybe having a 4.6, 4.7 ERA, but still having like 15 to 16 wins. You know, that he's going to help. And then they got Tehran. Tehran is the better of the two. Tehran can pitch. You know, he was in Atlanta with that small ballpark a couple last couple of years. But the guy, honestly, is a good pitcher. But again, he's a number three. He's not a number one anymore. He's a number three. Okay, that is not enough. Now it's better, you know. It's better than that move they made when they got Cahill and Harvey, you know. But again, it's not everything, you know. It's not everything that they need. It's just not the answer they're looking for. But I can say they are going to win at least 80 something games. That's for sure. The Astros are going backwards, okay. The Texas Rangers are better. Oakland will still be there, okay. So that's it's going to be to me, from my perspective. Texas winning the division, Oakland second, the Angels third, but it's going to be the Angels not bad. You know, nobody wants to pitch for that lineup. But again, you you can't score 11 and give up 12. It's not going to work. It's just not enough. Now they got a guy in Matt Andrews from the Diamondbacks. I liked him when he was in Arizona. He's a, a guy that can eat up innings for you. He's again a number four, maybe number five, but not really number four, number five guy. He got a really good sinker, and again, a guy at the back of the, the back of the rotation that'll probably get you ten or eleven wins, honestly, because the Angels can hit. It's only reason I'm saying these amount of wins they can hit, but again, it's not going to be enough to make the playoffs, right? They got a solid pitcher in Haney, but it, it's just it's not enough to make the playoffs for them. But they did improve, okay? I we can go over the diamond, right? I like Simmons at short, and I like Listella at second. You know, you got a beast in Rendon at third. So it, it, it's just, for me, a scary lineup, even when they sign, they sign Castro as a catcher. And you, you know, who the hell they want to pitch to? Goodwin's a good player in the outfield. So I, I would be terrified to play that team, that's for sure, because I wouldn't want my pitchers going through that. Because when that team starts getting hot and their hitters start rolling, you know they can put up a bunch of numbers. But again, their goal is to get to the playoffs, and obviously they want a championship but I, soon. But I think... What they're looking to do is at least get to the playoffs. They didn't do enough yet. What they need to do is go out and get themselves a solid number two. I don't think there's really many solid aces, but I think they get themselves a solid number two. And then I think you can look at the Angels as a team where if you get into the playoffs, I don't think anybody's going to want to face that team, right? If they get hot, you know, Upton still can hit. So when you got Otani and you got Upton and you got Trout and Pujols can still get clutch once in a while, and you got this middle of this order in Beast and Rendon. And you got guys like Simmons that still can hit. La Stella can get on base. Goodman can hit. When you got guys like that, you know, it's it's tough for a pitcher to adjust. And the ball flies out now. 
So I like what the angels are doing. I like that they made a move for Rendon. I like that they protected their guy in Trout. It's a great job. It's now a two-headed monster that you really don't want to pitch to. Otani is honestly becoming one of my favorite players to watch because this guy really can hit. So when you got a Trout, Otani, Rendon, three-headed monster, that's tough. That's tough to pitch, you know. Now, if Otani can come back and be a really good pitcher, then, then now we're talking about 90 wins. You know, because it's really going to be up to Otani right now. I just can't see them having anybody else doing really well in the pitching staff or coming up. So the Angels improved to me, I would say, a B rating. I, I can't give them an A. I know Rendon wants to be an A, but I just don't see their pitching. I think their pitching takes Rendon's move a little bit down because, again, how could you win without pitching? You know, because it's very easy for a pitcher to shut those guys down if they're slumping or anything. But it's, again, it's very difficult to get your guys to pitch well consistently. You know, anybody, anybody can go on a slump at any, but to get consistent pitching all the time, it, it's very difficult. You need solid pitchers. I mean, look at the championships the last few years between Verlander and Sale. You know, you go to Chicago and Leicester when Kluber was pitching, even though he didn't win, they were going at it. You know, it's also, these are guys like that you need to carry your team into the playoffs. And the Angels don't have that. But again, they're going to be fun to watch if there's baseball. And I believe there will be. I think everything's going to be fine. All right, guys, let me know what you think tomorrow. We'll talk more and we'll just keep going down the list. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.